We all love ghost stories, don't we? I think there's a little Scooby-Doo in all of us. I don't necessarily believe them, even though I've had strange things that I can't explain to me. I'm going to tell you the ghost story of Union Cemetery. Union Cemetery has rows and rows of Union soldiers. That's how it got its name, Union Cemetery. It's been here for over a hundred years. And the story involves one of these graves. There was a horrible battle during the Civil War. And the southern side got completely wiped out. All except for one soldier. And he wandered off into the woods. And his uniform was wet and torn and bloody. Had blood all over it from all his friends and co-fighters. And he wandered around for several days. He finds a Union soldier's body. The body had almost a perfect uniform. So, so he didn't freeze to death, he switches uniforms with the Union soldier. Didn't help him. Three days later, freezes to death. They look at the name when they find the body. They look at the name on the uniform and ship him back to Steubenville and he's buried in Union Cemetery. When somehow the mistake is caught up to, um, the guy had no family anyways, and the other guy had no family, and nobody really cared. So why go to the expense of digging up a body and transporting him all the way back to the south, where he's just gonna be put into another grave? So it's just sort of left, left to the ages. And nobody seemed to care. Well, almost nobody cared. Buried just not that far from all the other Union soldiers, the Fighting McCooks is a very famous family. They answered the call when the country needed them and fought for the Union side. Huge family. And many of them died in battles and many different wars. The family is very famous for serving their country. Huge family. And almost a dozen of them were buried here in Union Cemetery, not far from the Southern soldier. These um, McCooks went on to become generals and colonels and politicians and have been very instrumental in the creation of what today is our country. The ghost story takes place according to diaries and letters and hand-me-down stories down in this hollow. It's the McCook Trail and the ghost incidents all the way up to modern times have been reported to take place here. If you come here just before the sun comes up, when it's just the first hint of light, and it's a foggy day. That's when all the incidents have occurred. Every documented case, from the diaries to the letters, from everything. That's when they say they see a Union soldier chasing a Southern soldier down through the McCook's trail. Some have even doubted the official reason why they had to close the trail. But I won't get into that. And that's the ghost story. Believe it or not.